Okay, as it stands, um, science still doesn't understand ageing and uh, longevity of humans or animals much. Uh, lots and lots of research going into it because everyone wants to live forever. But in the end, we just don't know what goes on. There, there's some uh, relatively old but uh, seen in new light research come out which may show that uh, there are, are actual ageing genes within us. For instance, you've got uh, a lot of people sort of uh, have this uh, conception that age and uh, or the longevity of a, uh, a being is very much based on uh, how many beats their heart might do in a lifetime, things like this. Um, but if you look at uh, animals such as the um, a mouse and a bat, these are very uh, physiologically sim similar animals, much the same size. Now they're both uh, on, you know, their normal heart rate is between three to 500 beats per minute. However, what happens is uh, a common mouse lives, you know, average of two to three years. A, uh, a bat lives anywhere between 20 and 40. So there's really? some, yeah, wow. There's something going on here. Like I, I didn't really know much about this until I looked into it. But yeah, so what are uh, these bats eating? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if it's to do with diet, but you know, that's uh, where the vampire stuff comes from. Maybe who knows? But um, <laughs> they live forever. This is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. mice that want to live forever. That's you mean where Twilight it was right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, looking into all of this, uh, they're looking into the the genes of uh, a lot of things, and they've gone right down to these uh, worms called the uh, oh, C. elegans worms. Cynthia Kenyon, she uh, first discovered this in 93, that when uh, a certain uh, worm had a mutation of uh, the the DAF2 gene, it, it caused something called uh, negligible, uh, <laughs> negligible senescence, which is basically science speak for um, not aging, no visible signs of, um, you know, getting older. Yep. And so going back to the, you know, the, the bats and the uh, mice, you know, mice, they, you know, after a couple of years, they're old and just decrepit sort of things. And then they eventually die. Bats, they um, they retain their mental acuity and their, their um, you know, agility right pretty much until they're dead. So they're, <laughs> they're just like young the whole, the, their whole life. Yeah. Um, so... Back to the worms, what uh, they've found is that when this uh, particular DAF2 gene is um, uh, mutated in within the worm, uh, it goes from the worm's typical lifespan is about 20 days, and from about day 12, day 13, it's uh, visibly, it's, it's like an old citizen. It mm. doesn't, doesn't move much, it just waits to die sort of thing. So you put that on the um, level of uh, humans, and it'll be like a, an 80-year-old, but, you know, feeling sort of shit from the age of 50, 60 which I think most, yeah, which is know, standard. most people do. Yeah. That's pretty much standard yeah. for our pretty, life. Pretty much expected yeah. that, that by the time you get to your 50s, you start mm. to st start to decline, mm. really, and, uh, uh, and not be able to do as much and you know not feel as good for yeah. many reasons. Just no vitality, yeah. whatever, but yeah. And that's the thing. So they're, they're looking at this as a parallel to um, the humans. So then uh, these <clears throat> mutated ones, which uh, didn't have this uh, gene, what well, was uh, suppressed, what happens is... Uh, they suddenly started uh, living 40 days, so twice as long. And instead of um, being, and they weren't decrepit at all, they acted as if they were um, in teenage years all the way up until they basically died. So, wow, you know, lived longer and just younger the whole time. They're, they've done even more studies now and they've uh, got it taken out of the point where they can make these things last for 140 days and stuff like that, which in human equivalency terms would be 400, 500 years. Um, <laughs> would anyone really want to live that long? Well, I don't know. I don't know. That, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's uh, one, of, one of the perils. But um, look, one of, one of the uh, things that they've figured out here, oh, she's a very smart woman, obviously, um, and you'll be seeing her on a Nobel Prize anytime, sometime soon. But she's got a bit of an agenda at the moment whereby she's um, trying to turn it into a drug. Where not necessarily a bad no. thing, but the thing is, she she wants to um, have a quick fix and be able to sell it to the world. Everyone can uh, suppress this gene. We don't know what it does otherwise, but apart from you know, give you a good life. So that yeah, that's we fine. might all live Which to for, to like four hundred years old, but uh, you know, be morons. But yeah, well, <laughs> we, we don't know. Just quite smart likely anyway, are, probably yeah. for most people. Oh, the, the, the connect where the uh, thing comes through there is that um okay, we're talking about worms, which uh, may seem like a bit sort of 
stupid. But the thing is, uh, these genes have been found in, uh, like, they, they've done the same tests on mice and on uh, bird, I think. I can't remember which one. And then... Um, and on humans, and we've too, well, yeah. we haven't actually done the test, but they've found we've got the same uh, we've got the same yeah, genes. Are, which uh, there are signs. They're, they're, there's signs yeah. that yeah. they're active. Yeah, there's yeah. Uh, that's the thing. They, they've been looking, and they haven't seen the actual thing yet, but they've seen the signs that it is yeah. there. Sort of like looking for a black hole. Yeah, you know. So what it comes down to is though, these uh, genes are they're actually activated uh, when you're low, low, lower in insulin. Well, there's uh, there's two two uh, versions of the gene. One is uh, what's known as the uh, Grim Reaper gene there, and it's because what happens is when this one is activated, it actually goes ahead and causes decay throughout the body. It actively fights the cells, gets in there, and just yeah says no, go to hell. And then there's the other one which they've uh, labelled the Sweet Sixteen gene. <laughs> Um, and what this one does is it uh, goes, repairs, regenerates, uh, builds your immune system, and it uh, develops the, uh, the the proteins that you need for healthy skin and muscle growth, mm. that sort of thing. And what happens is when you've got uh, excess uh, insulin in your body, well, this is uh, on the worms anyway, <laughs> uh, With uh, when they added extra glucose to their diet, uh, just a little bit, what happened was it uh, made the Grim Reaper gene uh, activate. Right, which and not these two can't really work in uh, in tandem, so it's uh, always going to be sort of one or the other. Right. When the and so what they had was these uh, mutant worms, which were living forever. They gave them a little bit of uh, glucose, and boom! Suddenly they uh, they lost all their vitality within you know very short period of time, and just withered and died like a normal normal worm. Wow! So so keeping this sweet sixteen gene on switched on basically by by limiting their their. Uh, their uh, sugars and carbs mm. um, made them live high, uh, longer, but also healthier and more, you know, live longer and younger. Yeah, yeah, and uh, ha- happier and healthier lives, as well as living to ripe old ages. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that the uh, was brought up was simply that um, age would be well, it would be irrelevant in that. Once you get to you know your ripe age, which is some probably thirty to forty ish, is mm. um, you could continue. Just it was looking 20, it was twenty five in that movie that I watched. Okay, right. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I actually watched that. They largely consider that twenty five is is uh, the sort of um, oh, the for age women. where you for, no for for, for, <laughs> for for men is when you stop growing. Basically, you, okay. you basically stop developing and you become the person that you're going to be. All right, pretty much. And from then on, it's sort of wildly the the, the commonly held belief is that you're in a state of decay from then on, pretty much. Oh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I guess, yeah. No, the, anyway, the um, on the uh, the TED talk that uh, she Carolyn did, or Cynthia, sorry, she actually used the uh, when you're 35, this is there's no reason to not feel, look, act 35, basically until you're getting right to the end of your life because it, you it's not it may actually be that we don't wear out we don't decay we don't nothing it's this yeah. is all external yeah. influence that's yeah. uh, happening to us it's not i wouldn't be surprised if they find that that uh, they're able to keep this gene at bay just through diet little you know without the use of a drug mm. but you know. yeah so that's the takeaway really is that some look it's uh, there may be a drug that can do this but in the meantime the, the fact is it's uh, limit your sugar sugars and, and carbs entirely, and <laughs> entirely i mean not yeah. to go too religious on that stuff but yeah that's uh that's the way it's looking is that like, everyone wants to feel better, feel younger, mm. look better. And this might be the very simple. Yeah. Or well, one of the, so, one of the important pieces of the puzzle anyway, mm. you know, making sure that you, you don't uh, overindulge on the, uh, on the sugars and carbs, uh, a sort of, um, spinoff of this, as I was reading the information was, uh, the fact that if you cut your calorie intake by, I can't remember well, how much it down, is. Down to about three quarters. Three quarters uh, of what you would normally eat, you can extend your life significantly just by doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm betting that a large slice of that is because you're reducing the amount of carbs and sugars you're having, therefore reducing your insulin response, which... But, so, mean, the, yeah, it, it, again, it might be a sound theory, but it might be misapplied yeah. as to um, what was causing it. Yeah. It's just that that could just be a symptom of... Um, yeah, it's a correlation, not a cause. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Mm. Moving on. <laughs>